All right, you guys, welcome back to Is Your Six Covered. Appreciate you showing up, and today we are doing the official talk about the reasons why I had DP Gunworks build me this rifle. So, before we get started, you can see that it's balancing on Nectar of the Gods, also known as Pure Leaf Sweet Tea. You can see inside there is no internal weights. No external weights. The thing I was looking for was, a, first off, something that fed ammo into the chamber without an issue. In order to win a match, or at least do well at a match, somehow you got to get the bullets from the mag, which obviously isn't in there, up into the chamber without screwing up so that you can at least have a chance to screw up and miss a target. So... So far, I've had no issues with this. First day I got it, I shot 350 rounds. Second day I shot it, I think it was right at 250, 275. No issues whatsoever. I had one little hiccup, but that was my fault. I short stroked it. I wouldn't consider that an issue with the rifle. My second thing was I wanted a rifle that was balanced. I was truly in love with the Matrix chassis by MPA, but the problem was there was just way too much metal in the rear to ever get a rifle to balance. I actually did a test where I had this on a scale and I kept hanging weights off of the front to get it to balance and it was over four pounds. So I knew that wasn't gonna be a thing. So right now I have a rifle that is, as you can see, very well balanced. I didn't want any extra additional weight on it. If I was going to put weight into it, I wanted it to be on the barrel. It's a Krieger 22 inch 1 in 16 twist. This is turned down from a 125 to a 120 in order for it to fit inside the Matrix or the uh, Masterpiece Arms chassis. This is a hybrid chassis. So it's one of the lighter chassis. Reason for that is all the turn knobs and stuff like that that are normally on like the BA comp and the other ones, that just adds weight. I did not want that. I wanted it to be balanced. And we have uh, Kenny over at DP Gunworks or Desert Precision Gunworks in Arizona figured out the magic cure for me. So. Super excited, just the mount alone, the spur mount, the Razor HD Gen 2, four and a half to 27, and it's got the LRA, LRA send it over there as well. That runs just by itself, three, I think it's 3.14 pounds. Um, so there's definitely some weight to this rifle still. The whole thing comes in at 15 pounds. Now, one of the things that you saw on my other one was the latest, the 360 that I had. It was in a BA comp. This is the hybrid. It was in a BA comp. I had internal weights in the front. It had the 20-inch MTU contour. And there was no way to balance the thing out without just hanging a ton of weight off the front. Not only do I like how the... The handles are thin because I don't have all the extra crap on it as far as weights go. It just seems to basically sit a lot better on the bag. Seems to work really well. And again, no issues with the feeding. So I'm super excited about it. It's working really well. And other than that, we got a wee bad cheek pad on there. There is some foam underneath it to bring the height up because I do run 50 MOAs, uh, basically 30 and a 20 in order to basically not have to dial out too far when you're shooting 500 yards. But other than that, super impressed. Does have the, the uh, Trigger Tech Diamond flat, flat in there. Amazing triggers. It's a two stage. I've been shooting those for a while now. Really like them. They're in most of my rifles. And Kenny did an awesome job. So thanks again, Kenny over at DP Gunworks. 
But uh, he does have a YouTube channel. If you guys get a chance, check it out. It's Eagle Eye Precision. But that is some of the reasons why you're seeing a switch. Top priority was feeding. Second priority was balance. And we have accomplished the task. So here's kind of a close up of the whole thing. Start over here in the back. This is upside down in order to give me more height. It's got the colors here so you can just pop those off. There's screws on the other side and then it'll always be the right height. Got the stock grip on it, which does have basically the, the bump. So you have the exact same uh, spot when you're pulling the trigger. Um, as far as uh, Zermat action, this is one of the options as far as the, the bolt knob, which I really like because your finger kind of gets in between it as it goes up. Um, and there's still room for the spigot. There is some flex if you really wanted to, you could grab it and squeeze it. But obviously the barrel's floating, so it never really touches. And then you can just see the massive amount of barrel. Look at the barrel on that thing. So Kenny did a great job. And it's been shooting really well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that video and understand the reasons why I switched over to the new rifle.